It's Julie Pollard from Miss Molly's Bed and Breakfast. We're talking scones, and it's showtime. Imagine a cozy and charming Victorian bed and breakfast, a comfortable getaway where you can enjoy tea, coffee, and home-baked goodies 24 hours a day. Well, guess what? You don't have to imagine it. It's real. It's real. <laughs> We're talking about Miss Molly's In Bed and Breakfast in Chincoteague. And we are joined this afternoon by Julie Pollard. She is the innkeeper, and we are so glad you are here. Yeah. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. So we heard that you make some pretty famous lavender scones. They do love them. They do love mm -hmm. them. So you're going to show us how to make them? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, good. I'm going to share good, my good. secrets with you. Okay, love it. So, so what are we going to do here? In here, I have two cups of flour. Mm -hmm. A uh, half a teaspoon of salt, four tablespoons of sugar, and a tablespoon of baking powder. Okay. That is all your dry goods. Okay. Now, we're going to unwrap this. This is five tablespoons of butter. Butter? That looks like cheese. I shred the butter and I keep it in the freezer because it's got to be super cold to make it light and airy. Oh, so, so that's key. Out. So we that can just put that key. all in there? Yep. Shred the dump butter. That in that's there. That's five tablespoons. That's five it tablespoons. It looks like more. Yeah, it does because it's all broken up. And then yeah. you go ahead and take this. You want to get most of that butter covered with flour. Oh, cu just covered. Yep. I don't have to break it up or no, anything? It, yeah. It's going to break up by itself. Oh, shredded. okay. Yeah. Good, yeah, good, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So where did you get this recipe? Did you come up I with it? I got it from my old boss who was a Brit. Oh. Miss Lynn, yes, yeah, she taught me. She, she makes very good scones. Yeah. Yes. I was telling you, my husband's been trying to perfect scones for a while. And, and you said before we went on camera that the shredding of the butter is key. And it's got to be frozen. Frozen. When you put it in. You do not want it soft. Okay. Yes. Well, this is definitely working. It's, it's no breaking kidding. up. Yep. How neat. Yep. All right. And the people like it. People love it. And where, where are you? Miss Molly's Bed and Breakfast in Chincoteague. Uh -huh. and if you get to Chincoteague, you're there. You'll find it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can, uh, we're right on Main Street. You'll find us. You'll find uh -huh. it. Right on Main Street. Yep. Okay, how's that look? That's good. That's good? That's okay. Good. Now okay, we're so now this, we have a, a cup. I have a tablespoon of lavender and a tablespoon of lemon zest in here. Okay. And we're going to add a cup of this to your mixture. All right. Now, when you say lavender, you just, where, I mean, you just go outside and pick some lavender, or can you buy lavender? I grow my own lavender. You grow your own. Look at that. Uh -huh. Oh, that's beautiful. And you hang it and you dry it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do I just mix this up yes, now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You're probably going to be better off using your hands. Oh! Because you want to feel it. We didn't mention that part, did we? She did not mention that. Well, I'm going to get grab some gloves over yep. here, because I know that... Uh, it is a so lot how easier. How have you been making these? Uh, it's my seventh season. I hate to say this, but I don't know what a scone is. <gasps> That's okay. I didn't know what a scone was either until I started making them. Ah! Really? Uh huh. And the it, source you came up with was a good one to, to yeah, make them right. Oh yeah. How about that? Yes. So all now right. you want that just to start sticking together, not to be super wet. So you want to make sure all the flour gets combined. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes. Are you are you going for a job for this like I was I going know. for the sushi roll? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> See, it's sticky just like the sushi when yeah, you were saying that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe they need scone claws. Yeah. <laughs> How's that looking? It's Look looking good. good. Now take it, see if you can ball it together in oh, one okay. big ball. Oh, we want one Not big Not one big, you can do a couple balls. Okay. Your gloves are coming off, honey. They are. <laughs> They're too big. That's the problem. Oh, heck. Yep. Yep. You, you need to feel it anyway. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Yep. I am making a mess. That's fine. Is this a, is this a good one? That is a good one. That okay. is a good one. Do I hand one. them over to Jimmy at this yes. point? Yes. So now what we're going to do, no, we're not going in there. We're going to flour the board. Okay. All right. All right. You're going to hand us, you're going to hand that ball to Jimmy. Thank you. Okay. You're going to put it down and you're going to squeeze it out. Mash it out. But not too little. Now see how you can see all the flakiness through? Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's a good good thickness. That's a good one. Right and then you're gonna take this. Okay. And you're gonna cut your stone out. Oh. And that's my scone. And that's your stone. Oh my goodness. Cool. Mm -hmm. okay. That seems easy. And then you just throw uh, throw them in the oven or at uh, some point? Uh, you put them in the oven. I um usually make a batch and I I freeze them mm -hmm. while they're raw, and then I cook them as needed. Oh, yes. Okay. So that's what I usually do. So with how them. long in the oven? Um, the oven is about 410 degrees for 
you smell them. 12, 13 minutes. Um, when the smell hits you, it's yeah, just right. Yeah, <laughs> when you smell the lavender <laughs> through the air, you know it's time. Okay. Well, I tell you what, we're going to take a little break. Okay. We come back, put these in the oven, we come back, and then we are going to check them out. Looking forward to that. Stick around. Our Marvel Life will be right back. You are looking at the most important ingredient for our recipe in the Delmarva Life Kitchen today, fresh lavender taken straight from the garden at Miss Molly's Inn Bed and Breakfast in Chincoteague. And we are back with Julie Pollard. She is the innkeeper and we cleaned off a little bit from the mess I made, yeah. thankfully. So before we put the dough in the oven, you actually did a couple more steps. Yes, I egg wash it, which is you take egg, add a little bit of water to it, mm -hmm. put it in a jar, shake it up. And then you take your paintbrush and paint it, and then you put raw sugar on top. Raw sugar on yes, top. Yes, and it makes it nice and crispy on the top. Okay. The, what's the next item? The next item is we put the We gotta on. eat them? You no. Know, oh. <laughs> we gotta cook no. them first. Okay. We gotta cook them first. Cook them first. Okay. For about 15, uh, 12 to 15 minutes. You'll smell that. <laughs> I, I think then, that is one of the greatest timers of all time. Yeah. If you smell if your you dish, smell it, it's, it's time. time. And Both this is your completed amazing. scone. Amazing. Uh, Mr. Jimmy never tried a scone before. I've never had a scone, so. but I didn't, oh or if gosh. I did, I didn't know what it was. You need to, you need yes. to go to Europe. That's what. <laughs> you need to go to Europe. Yeah. I bring Europe right here to you. No there worries. you go. No worries. There Even you better. Yep. Right. You need to come to Chincoteague. Mmm. All the Ray reviews are on point. This mm -hmm. is amazing. I can taste the lavender, but it's not too nope. strong. And the consistency. Oh, if I only had a cup of tea, right? Because mm -hmm. that's what mm -hmm. you usually eat. Yes, going to I that. use my ski with, with my teas, my uh, English teas. Your English teas. Yes, we do high English teas and scones, or they get sweeties and savories, but scones are always a main dish of that. I really like that. Thank bring your you. family, bring your friends, bring your yep. neighbors, bring your neighbors' family's friends. <laughs> <laughs> and remind us again where you are. Miss Molly's Bed and Breakfast in Chincoteague on Main Street. Come on down. Come on down. And have a scone. Julie, right. you're the best. Thank you so much. Oh, Thank you're you so, so welcome. Much. Thank you guys.